I'm Catherine Yass and I'm very happy and privileged to have been um, commissioned to make the artwork for Courtroom 2 in Supreme Court. My artworks are going up behind me um, and three very helpful technicians are putting them up. Hopefully we'll get there. We're just putting a few extra fixings in. This year we are celebrating 100 years of women being able to qualify as lawyers and eventually aspire to become judges. And Spark 21, who've raised the funds for this artwork, have also been celebrating 100 years of women in the law. This seemed a particularly appropriate time for us to have this artwork in this building. The first 100 Years project was set up um, in order to celebrate 100 years of women being allowed to enter the legal profession. Uh, in 1919, an Act of Parliament was passed that uh, classified women as persons and therefore all the organisations that allowed them to qualify uh, could not reject them on the basis of being women. We've got the Middlesex collection of portraits a fine collection with some splendid portraits in it, but of course it is all dead white men. And so we wanted something that added a bit of balance. I'm hoping that when people see a woman, they will actually think, oh, okay. And I hope it's the first in a long line, and I hope that eventually no one will even have to remark on it. It was in this courtroom that we had the first uh, majority female um, panel sitting. So we had three female uh, judges and two men. And um, that was a really important moment for women in law. So it's the, the right place. Judges do enjoy sitting in courtroom too. But sitting opposite the justices is a massive expanse of white wall. I thought about the whole wall and I thought that's too much to cover. Um, and it would be more sensible to pace it out like a rhythm. I've chosen four images partly because I wanted to give a sense of a series of ongoing history, like a, a line of history. She had this lovely vision of telling the story of women in the law through an early pioneer uh, who wanted to become a lawyer and couldn't, uh, and then somebody who was a current successful lawyer, uh, and then looking to the future and the women of the future. It was such a lovely vision. It's very well suited to the architecture of the room. At least that's how we selected it. We felt like it was just made for the space. So for the first time ever in my work, I've combined archival photographs with my own photographs. And the archival ones I've um, tinted and my own photographs are combinations of negatives and positives. When they're combined, they produce very evocative colours. All right. That's the right one? Yeah, OK, good. Cornelia Sorabji, in a way, she started practising before anyone else. Rose Heilbronn brought in pivotal law reforms. Lady Hale, who you'll know much more about, um, is the head of the Supreme Court now. So to me, Lady Hale symbolises, if you like, the whole evolution of the 100 years because she was so significant to the first 100 years and yet she's the bridge to the next 100 years. So I think she's really important in this work. The anonymous woman at the end is somebody who could be a future lawyer. I'm hoping that young women coming now as visitors will become lawyers and believe that they can influence the law. Well, the artwork is a dream come true, really. I feel we've been able to respect their legacy and we're able to bring them to life in a way that hasn't been done before. To inspire the next generations by telling and sharing these stories. It was a combination of the Supreme Court's enthusiasm, Spark 21 having the idea and the inspiration, and the Contemporary Art Society making everything possible and making all the wheels turn. The justices, when they look at that wall, they will see the images of four women, and they don't often see the images of four women <laughs> opposite them, uh, and it will be good to inspire them as well to think uh, that women have an important place in the law. Well, I think we've got the spacing right, and yeah, it's okay. <laughs> 
I think it would make a huge amount of difference to the advocates um, standing in the room. You know, the courtroom here and the Supreme Court has had very few women really leading on cases. They're almost having a conversation with the judges and maybe feeling they're having a conversation with history when they're here. Well, my aspirations obviously are for greater gender parity uh, in uh, all the professions and any walk of life that a woman wants to enter. And I hope that we might get to that before too long.